Well, good evening. Tonight, a case of a missing North Carolina man crosses state lines now moving into our area. Danville police are now involved after the Range Rover that William Andy Banks was meeting someone to sell in Raleigh was found abandoned in Danville. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live tonight. He's right there at the Danville Police Department. And Shane, that car is one of the few clues that police have tonight. Yeah, John and Brittany, police really not sharing a whole lot of information. If they have other clues, they haven't let us know. Now, the Danville Police Department is just the assisting agency in this case. Raleigh is the lead, which means that Danville is really not able to give us a whole lot of information. But we do know tonight that Andy Banks is still missing, and his family is desperate to bring him home. Andy Banks' family is desperate to bring him home, now after more than two days missing, sitting down with our news partner in Raleigh, North Carolina, sharing what makes him the Andy they love. He never meets a stranger, and he really has a way with people that they gravitate towards him and they want to be around him. The Raleigh Police Union Facebook page shared this poster showing Andy and the Range Rover he was meeting someone to sell. His friends called police Saturday to report him missing after hours of trying to reach him. He was going to sell his vehicle uh, at 2 p.m. in the Cameron Village area at the KNW parking lot, and I can see on his text messages that he last checked his phone at 1.42 p.m. And so that would have been right before 2 o'clock. The case broke Monday when police recovered the car somewhere in Danville, 90 minutes north of where he was supposed to be in Raleigh. A friend of Banks told our news partner the 39-year-old regularly sells cars on the side. This deal arranged on Craigslist, and clearly something's wrong. I don't know what the definition of missing is, but he, he would never he would never go six or seven hours without responding to me. Banks is about six feet tall and was last seen in shorts and a shirt with mountains on it. His family is holding out hopes someone will say something. We look forward to uh, seeing you. Um, I miss you um, and, and we're going to do everything we can to bring you home. Banks' story is beginning to take off on social media. Of course, with that brings a lot of speculation. But his family tonight asking that people stay positive, stick to the facts, and continue sharing his story. Live in Danville, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.